Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog. My name is Matt Rappaport, and I'm going to disappear. No way, what are you talking about? I can't disappear. I'm here. I'm all over the place. I'm woo -doo -doo -doo, woo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I just brushed my teeth with my air toothbrush. Yeah. Oh, I, do have a sp oh, I was going to call this a spoon, but it's a fork. There is no fork. And the fork may be with you always is probably hey may the fourth is coming up it's pretty close and then may the fourth be with you may the fork be with you you know what i'm saying and that's pretty painful if it goes all the way whoa what's going on so zombies are trending on google plus and i don't know you know people like zombies byron rempel the zombie artist check him out he's i interviewed him on hang conversations and he drew me as the first zombie back in the day back in the summer and it's almost summer now so a year wow it was pretty cool i got we got to hunt down different Google Plus members and we made them into zombies and we had hit lists and a lot of my friends were like please I'm like yo and we're like oh how many can we make did you understand that was that English did you so uh when it comes to Google Plus money uh people talk about monetizing all the time these videos uh blogs other things what's gonna happen uh, do you use AdSense and Google Affiliate Networks? Do you try to sell t-shirts and other things? Do you think that anyone besides like the top tier are really killing it? Even the YouTube stars and celebrities, I, I often wonder how much money they're really making. I mean, off the videos alone. And then, of course, merchandising stuff. So I, I would venture it could be still under 100000 Sure, it's not a bad living. But what do you think? Also, ideas. Are ideas worth anything? What are they worth? You know, a lot of people argue the idea is only as good as its execution, but, you know, you can't execute unless you have the ideas to begin with. And you can take any piss poor idea or crappy idea and make it amazing, or you can take an amazing idea and it's amazing. So, it's interesting. I think, obviously, having the ability to have amazing ideas and to execute them is key. And that's what I'm trying to do with, the, with everything that I'm doing. But... You know, I've given a lot of ideas, free ideas, you know, and, you know, the benefit is usually one-sided. My idea goes to the person or the company or whoever. They get the idea, they use it, and it's not like it's, you know, I'm not necessarily looking for credit and say, you know, plus me, Matt Rappaport's idea, whatever, you know, or, you know, I mean, if that leads to opportunity, sure, if you want to do that. That was like my Lena Dunham girls invitation. She's like, yeah, sure, if that's, if you want to do that, you can, but. Anyway, yeah, I just imitated an actress of Titty Girl. Yeah. Uh, Scrub, do you watch that show, girls? Interesting. Uh, she's got a lot of tattoos. Uh, like, right here. Tattoo. Tattoo. The plane. But, so that's one of the things I'm interested in. Work. Those are kind of, kind of the things on my mind. Uh, and, of course, you know, I, I love this. I enjoy it. And I'm an artist just trying to continue to do it and continue to bring the awesomeness. What else is going on? I'm looking around. I see pens. I see glasses, you know, 3D. You know, what what's the deal? 3D and IMAX and, and all that stuff. How long is that going to last? Is that going to continue to be? Is every single blockbuster or even non-blockbuster going to be in 3D, real 3D, fake 3D, which is sucky, and IMAX? Is it, it The experience is good, but is it really just going to be about making more money? And that's really what it's about. And how many people are going to go to the movies? I mean, I go to the movies less, but I love the movies, so I would continue to go to the movies. And, uh, you know, watching from home, people do it. The internet, people get rid of cable and everything. You got the Netflix, got the Hulu. But uh, now more than ever, people are watching all the content and entertainment they can handle on YouTube, online, on everywhere. So people don't want to have to pay. I mean, it's expensive, the economy. And, uh, you know, what's fair, what's right. You know, it's a debate. It's up there. And people, what they feel morally right about or not. Uh, here's something, here's a random picture. This is the upside down version of me, Heather Faye, Ryan Vincicle. You should check them out. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of other things I could throw at you. You know, this is for your throat probably. And, uh, you know, lots of other awesomeness going on in the world. What's happening with you? What is your Monday like? Take me through, everyone hates Monday. How do you get through your Monday? Is it just coffee? Do you have a job that you absolutely love? Look, I'm out of coffee. I need some. Oh, there's a little left. Coffee. Let me know. And thanks for watching. Tonight, plus Damon Show, Jane Allen, Matt Mikowski, Craziness, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. 
and I'll catch you tomorrow on the flip ip ip wow the flip ip ip bippity bop bada bing what's your favorite you know hey that's what it is forget about it what's give me your favorite like bang boom bing ting zing burn slash ooh bop ip op ip nip nip nop yeah, I don't know what language that was. And if you have any quests for tearing through the legends, let me know and I will rip through some tearing through the legends for you. Vlog out.